Are you married or in a civil partnership but only one of you works? And do you want to pay less tax? Then stick around. Hey everyone and welcome to The Savvy Squaddy. In this video I'm going to go over the marriage tax allowance. Firstly, what is it? The marriage tax allowance allows the partner who is either not working or who is earning less than the personal allowance to transfer some of that allowance to their partner who is working which will see them pay less tax. You must either be married or in a civil partnership to be eligible. But what is personal allowance? This is the amount of income you can make per year without paying tax on it. At the time of recording, it's £12,570. So whatever you earn over this will be taxed at your tax band. For most of us, that will be 20%, which is the basic rate. If you pay at a higher rate, then you are not entitled to this allowance. So how does it work? Simply put, the partner who doesn't have an income over the personal allowance transfers £1,260 of their allowance to the partner who does have an income over the allowance, which then increases their partner's personal allowance to £13,830. They then just pay tax on the income they earn over that new personal allowance, thus saving around £252 per year in tax. For example, Joe is a corporal in the army and his wife Jane is a stay-at-home mum who currently doesn't have an income. Joe's income is £31,870 a year. He is a basic rate taxpayer and so he pays 20% tax on £19,300 which equals around £3,860 per year in PAYE tax. Jane transfers over £1,260 of her personal allowance to Joe. This now makes Jane's personal allowance £11,310 and Joe's £13,830. Joe now pays 20% tax on £18,040, which equates to around £3,608 per year. Joe is now saving £252 per year. But what if Jane was employed? It will depend on how much she is earning as to whether or not it is worth doing the marriage tax allowance. Jane has a part-time job that pays her around £12,000 per year, and as this is under the personal allowance, she doesn't pay tax on it. However, they would still benefit from the marriage tax allowance. Jane goes ahead and transfers over part of the allowance to Joe, thus decreasing Jane's personal allowance to £11,310. As she earns £12,000 a year from her job, she now has to pay 20% tax on £690, which is £138 but Joe is still saving £252 a year in tax thanks to Jane's transfer of her allowance to him and even though Jane is now paying tax, it's on a small amount. They are still better off by £114 per year. So it might still be worth doing even if both of you are earning an income. It just depends on how much. When you apply, it will ask for this information and tell you whether or not you would benefit from this allowance or not. So, how can you apply? You apply through the Gov website and I've linked below the webpage. The allowance will stay with the recipient until it's cancelled, whether this be because of the relationship ending or the income changes and it just makes sense to return the allowance. This also can be done on the Gov website. It must also be applied for by the person who is sacrificing their personal allowance, not by the person who is gaining from it. You can also backdate your application if you have been married for a few years and also earning under the personal allowance during that time. You could then also be entitled to a nice little tax refund. For me, this is a no-brainer if one of you is not working or earning over the personal allowance. It is easily done and can keep a couple hundred quid extra in your pocket every year. I hope that this video has helped you and perhaps showed you an allowance you didn't know you were entitled to. Leave a comment down below let me know if you're going to do this. Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you just saw, please hit the subscribe button up there. And if you want to see some more videos, click over there. See you soon.